12 extremely ultra-violent moments of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Long-running plots and interesting characters keep fans coming back for more in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It isn't going to slow down in the near future. With over 20 films already out and more on the counting, both in theaters and on Disney+, Plus, the large movie stores and fantastic characters. However, there are some situations that keeps the viewers coming back for more. The types of scenes differ. Some of the moments are massive fight sequences that are expertly filmed and produced and keep the spectators on the edge of their seats as they witness the struggle unfold. Other scenes are amusing, with wonderful banter and fan-favorite comic book situations. If there's one thing the MCU has perfected, it's creating sequences that can be watched over and over again. I'm sorry. Heroes like the lot of us face challenges ranging from unbridled vengeance and shame to heartbreaking sadness. The most impactful moments in the last decade and a half have usually been downers. Amidst all the comedy, awesome action sequences, and overall feeling of family among our heroes. It's not an easy task to make efforts to emotionally connect the viewer to Marvel's massive ensemble of superheroes, but it's these dark moments that have propelled Marvel into one of, if not the most popular movie franchise in history. Today, we will be taking a look at the top 12 insanely violent moments of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Avengers! Assemble. Avengers Assemble. In Avengers Endgame, was released in the year 2019. The surviving heroes attempted to erase the snap by traveling through time. There were some fantastic scenes, including a fantastic Captain America versus Captain America combat. The best scene, and one that elicited cheers from the audience, occurred after the heroes had returned. Occurred after the heroes had all returned. The situation seemed dire as Thanos' army loomed over all the forces of good. Their soldiers and fighters spanned miles and miles of dilapidated and destroyed barren terrain. Captain America can be seen with his broken shield in the scene, signaling damage and destruction of the worst manner. Doctor Strange, however, created portals and showed up when things seemed like they were going downhill, and all of the MCU heroes appeared at the same time all coming in via the portals one by one, every single hero including Iron Man, Thor, Gamera, and so on. Captain America saw all his comrades show up and majestically declared, Avengers assemble. And all of the Avengers took up battle stances. With the odds seeming much better, the battle began. It is arguably the best sequence in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It is also one of the most violent, since as all the Avengers and their fighter showed up, they rush into battle with the forces of Thanos, weapons clashing as heroes go shoulder to shoulder with the villains. It's packed with details and features, one of the best moments in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a splash panel caliber spread that brings together every Avenger as they dash into battle against Thanos' evil forces. It can't get grander than this. When it comes to going to the movies, the clips of the scene are all over the internet as people keep watching and re-watching it, making it a fan favorite. Winter Soldier vs. Captain America The relationship between the Winter Soldier and Captain America is one for the books. The iconic story from Dear Friends to Complete Strangers is a heart-wrenching one and has become a staple in the Marvel Universe. After Bucky was turned into a mindless killing robot titled The Winter Soldier, he faced off against Captain America a fair number of times. Imagine the extent of power that these two superhumans possess. This amount of power means that an altercation between the two is bound to be insane and cause lots and lots of destruction. 
That is exactly what we see in this iconic scene from the movie. The Winter Soldier tracks down Captain America, Black Widow, and Falcon while they are kidnapping Hydra member Jasper Sitwell in this scenario. He is hell-bent on assassinating his targets, but Captain America is thrown onto a bus by the Winter Soldier, who then uses ball grenades to take down Romanoff. Black Widow outwits the Winter Soldier and ambushes him, momentarily paralyzing his arm. The Winter Soldier shoots Black Widow in the shoulder while she is attempting to save innocent civilians. Captain America approaches the Winter Soldier just before killing Black Widow, and the two engage in a fierce combat. During the battle, the Winter Soldier is revealed to be Bucky Barnes, Steve's boyhood best friend who was abducted and experimented on after World War II, despite appearing to die on a mission. Winter Soldier is extremely dangerous, as evidenced by the fear and terror in Natasha Romanoff's eyes, who is one of the strongest fighters in the MCU. Bucky punching Cap's shield is such a satisfying sound, and the knife flip and knife handling by Bucky in this scene is flawless. It is certainly one of the best battle scenes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. How much for the gun? Not for sale. Okay, how much for the arm? The Avengers fight in Wakanda. This battle has it all, from Black Panther ordering the deactivation of a piece of Wakanda's energy dome to Bucky holding Rocky Raccoon like a sentient machine gun. It's essentially the equivalent of one of Stefan's nightclubs in a superhero movie set piece. Infinity War's confrontation between seasoned Marvel heroes and Thanos' Black Army delivers as many visceral emotional punches as it does real ones serving as a dress rehearsal for Avengers Endgame's iconic climax. The filmmaking team of directors Joe and Anthony Russo, as well as the rest of the crew responsible for bringing this clash to life, do it with just the right amount of pressure and spectacle. The war, as anamorphic and summertime movie-like as it is, has its zone of conflict concentrated on our characters. Bring me Everything is done in an intimate, epic style, so each victory or scared breath our Avengers take feels like one of our own. And there are more casualties than victories here, which adds to the poignancy of our hero's struggle. Sure, it feels good to watch Bucky spin Rocket Raccoon while both of them fire machine guns, or to see Black Widow, Scarlet Witch, and Okoye team up in a fun three-on-one battle against Proxima Midnight. But it just distracts us from the inevitable gut punch of Vision dying twice, Thanos stealing the last Infinity Stone. Infinity War has been one of Marvel Studios' most rewatchable films, thanks to a large part of the tragic and compelling story. Black Panther vs. Killmonger Last Fight Black Panther is a film unlike any other. It is the first comic book film to be nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Ryan Coogler, the director and co-writer, and his production team, several of whom would go on to win well-deserved Oscars, appear to be free of Marvel's assembly line style, allowing for the studio's most complicated and exciting mano-a-mano -mano fight to date. Eric Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan, versus T'Challa, played by the late Chadwick Boseman. After plummeting straight down into a vibranium mine, the two fighters fight for Wakanda's physical soul. T'Challa and Killmonger are fighting in powerful armored suits that cause a fault in the mine each time a maglev truck passes by, putting them on nearly equal footing. But it's the Shakespearean power struggle fueling their punches, not the not the choreography of their combat that draws us in. T'Challa isn't looking forward to the fatal one being delivered to Killmonger. Their battle culminates in one of the most passionate and meaningful scenes ever seen in a comic book film, particularly one produced by Disney. Killmonger declares with his final breath, Killmonger declares with his final breaths as the sun sets on his would-be dictatorship that he, like his forefathers, would rather perish than live in servitude. 
The scene is considered to be the best fight scene in this iconic movie by fans. Even though the CGI has been criticized, the scene kept everyone who watched the movie at the edge of their seats. The ingenious way in which Black Panther managed to bring Killmonger down had everyone hooked. The pain in Killmonger's voice as he says, the world stole everything away from me is heartbreaking, but we also watch him smile before making a move to destroy Zuri. As a result, many people have labeled him as a cold-blooded killer. However, everyone agrees that both Bozeman and Jordan gave outstanding performances in the duel. Captain America Elevator Fight Directors, while elevating Steve Rogers' big screen experiences to be worthy of the Thanos level perils the first Avenger would confront, Joe and Anthony Russo decided to imbue their first Marvel film with Bourne style action and a gritty 1970s political thriller tone. They did so by delivering an explosive, adrenaline filled blockbuster that exceeded all expectations, thanks in large part to this elevator brawl. Cap fights a squad of Hydra soldiers acting as shield in a limited, violent confrontation that becomes instantly memorable. Someone killed Nick Fury in Captain America the Winter Soldier, and Captain America had to find out what was going on. He met Alexander Pierce, the top-ranking shield director. When he left, he found himself to be a wanted fugitive. In an elevator, he realized that more and more people were approaching him including S.H.I.E.L.D. operatives like Brock Rumlow. Cap even gives them a moment to ponder, compelling them to do so before exiting the elevator. This elevator scenario spawned a flood of hilarious memes focusing on Captain America and his foes. Captain America was up against nearly a dozen foes, and he was able to take them all out on his own. Due to its brilliant utilization of an enclosed location, it was easily one of the most unforgettable battle scenes in the entire MCU. This is evidence that Captain America is a clever guy. Before absorbing the super soldier serum, Steve Rogers was already a bit of a genius. People seem to forget, though, that he was strengthened cognitively as well as physically. Captain America has attained the pinnacle of human mental processing. That usually manifests itself in the form of being an expert tactician and strategist. You could rewatch it again and again if you would still feel the blood pumping in your heart as adrenaline takes over your body. Fantastic show by Chris Evans. <laughs> Iron Man vs. Winter Soldier vs. Captain America the airport combat in Captain America Civil War, in which all of the heroes fought each other, was one of the most rewatchable scenes in the film. The fight at the end of the film is also a favorite and has been watched multiple times. Both Captain America and Iron Man, both Captain America and Iron Man have distinct personalities. Tony may be arrogant and selfish at times, while Steve is all about selflessness and laying down his life for the collective good, so a confrontation was certain to happen at some point, but not on the scale shown in Captain America Civil War. The fight at the end of Captain America Civil War is without a doubt one of the most emotionally charged conflicts in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Captain America and the Winter Soldier set out to discover the other Winter Soldiers who have been frozen in time and were waiting to be reawakened. When they arrived, however, Baron Zemo had already murdered them. That's when Iron Man arrived, intending to assassinate Bucky. He had to face Cap and Bucky in a fierce struggle. One can guarantee Tony Stark was battling with the sole purpose of eliminating the Winter Soldier. There was no way the Repulsors were going to charge up at the same time, but Tony decided he couldn't do it. He would kill if he had the opportunity. For three different Marvel mainstays, this battle was a character-defining moment. This conflict will have far-reaching ramifications throughout the MCU. The surprising revelation that Bucky Barnes, or the Winter Soldier, murdered Tony's parents all those decades ago, and Cap knew about it but withheld it from Tony to protect his comrade, made the fight much more difficult to witness. This was a gruesome combat scene where friendship betrayal and blindness in friendship were both present at the same time.
Hulk vs. Thor in Thor Ragnarok While Iron Man and Captain America fought in the Civil War, the two most powerful Avengers were fighting on another planet. There are various scenes in Thor Ragnarok that may be seen again. People can see the battlefield on the Bifrost over and over again and never get weary of it. However, there is also another scene in the movie that is a lot of fun and it never gets old. The instance when Thor was tossed into the arena to fight the champion only to discover that it was the Hulk. Thor was on the receiving end of a major beating by Hulk until he realized he could command his lightning powers without Mjolnir. Thor is thrown into an arena to battle for the Grand Master's entertainment after being stuck on the planet of Sakaar, after a tussle with Sister Hela inside the Bifrost Bridge and being captured and sold by renegade Asgardian bounty hunter Valkyrie. Thor would face the Grand Master's prize champion for the second time, pitting the Marvel Cinematic Universe's two most powerful characters against one another. Thor had to reunite with his long-lost work buddy, Hulk and his alter ego Bruce Banner before they could plan their escape. Thor entered the ring without his cherished hammer Mjolnir to face Hulk, who had bolstered his strength over the previous two years while relishing in the triumph of his victories in the ring. Hulk gains strength and anger as the fight progresses, and bloodthirsty cries of the crowd also influence his aggression. It was quite late into the game, but the combat had reached a critical juncture. Thor's the power was in you all along moment is enabled by several consecutive blows from the Hulk. Ragnarok had hinted at this before when the Grandmaster noticed the sparkles flowing from his fingers. Thor only strikes two tremendous electrically charged hits on the Hulk after his reawakening, but that was the end of this wild encounter. In the opinion of the majority of fans, Thor is the winner of this battle. Prove it. Put that hammer down. Uh, yeah, no. Bad call. He loves his <laughs> Iron Man vs. Captain America vs. Thor In the first Avengers film, Nick Fury was tasked with uniting the heroes in order to defeat Loki and the impending alien invasion. These were, nevertheless, egotistical individuals who had to learn how to work together. After Captain America and Iron Man had caught Loki, Thor appeared and forcibly removed his brother from them. This resulted in a forest brawl in which the three fighters demolished most of the forest canopy surrounding them. This iconic battle starts off with Thor asking Loki to return the Tesseract in the forest, but the brothers are closely followed by Iron Man who ignores Thor, who says that Loki will face Asgardian justice and simply wants to capture Loki until he returns the coveted cube. Angered at the response of a mere mortal, Thor throws his hammer and hits Iron Man right in the middle of his chest. Iron Man then realizes that Thor is insanely powerful, but as it is with Tony Stark, he has to be the best and thus an intense and epic battle ensues. Thor uses his hammer and his brute physical force to attack and defend against Iron Man, who uses his suit and ability to generate powerful blasts that have the ability to blow people to smithereens. The battle sees them go up into the sky as well, but before things truly go downhill, Captain America shows up to stop them. However, Thor just gets enraged further, which causes a massive explosion to take place as he brings it smashing down on Captain America's shield, destroying the forest land. Super violent and super rewatchable. Fun fact, Steve learned the compression burst from Miholnir hitting his shield tactic at this location. He would subsequently wield it against Thanos in the ultimate battle. Hulk vs. the Hulkbuster Avengers Age of Ultron is an imperfect yet ambitious sequel that escalates the stakes while making the Avengers fight more personal and agonizing. At the midway of the film, Tony is forced to summon the popular Hulkbuster armor from a Stark Industries satellite in order to contain and ultimately fight a renegade Hulk. Fans of Marvel Comics have been waiting to see the Hulkbuster armor in action. The Age of Ultron does not fail. As the two rivals drag each other through the streets, ripping up the pavement, the Hulkbuster normally appears to have the upper hand, at least until the Hulkbuster is impaled by a traffic light pole on the back of the Hulkbuster. As they continue to fight, Stark answers, Dick move, Banner. 
The Hulkbuster's broken sections break off and are swiftly replaced by new parts. There are various sections. Now that Hulkbuster is above Hulk, Stark begins using Hulk's head as a punching bag, repeatedly beating Hulk's skull into the pavement, much to the delight of the audience. Stark chants, sleep, go to sleep, but spoiler warning, it really doesn't work. Tony Stark was terrified of fighting the Hulk, and it came across, but the Hulkbuster did have the last punch, so to say as Tony did finally manage to overpower the Green Beast. Later in Avengers Infinity War, the armor would serve a pivotal role. This set piece is an unrelenting delivery system of action-packed fan service. From RDJ's deadpan delivery of go to sleep, go to sleep over and over as his suit's fist jackhammers Hulk's face, to Tony purchasing a building that is still under construction before using this as a last-ditch attempt to immobilize the terrifying green guy. Thor kills Thanos Despite the fact that Thanos had it coming, Thor's beheading of him at the start of Avengers Endgame was a painful moment in the MCU, and also for Thor. Captain Marvel exited the Benatar using the Universal Neural Teleportation Network and flew down to the garden to conduct reconnaissance, alerting the other Avengers that the planet had no defenses in place. Thanos was collecting crops from his field on the planet's surface before going inside and cooking a stew to eat. He was immediately bombarded by a photon blast from Captain Marvel as he sat down in his hut before she broke inside his hut and grabbed him in a headlock. Thanos was further restrained as Bruce Banner in Iron Man armor, Mark 48, erupted from the floor, joined by War Machine, who was holding down Thanos' other hand. Thor flew in to put a halt to Thanos' ambush plan, slicing off his left arm with Stormbreaker, unleashing the gauntlet, and inflicting severe anguish on the Titan. Captain America, Black Widow, Rocket Raccoon, and Nebula enter the hut now that Thanos has been defeated and Rocket flips over the gauntlet, shocking everyone when the stones are no longer present. Thanos revealed during interrogation that his most recent use of the Infinity Stones was to destroy them, guaranteeing that they would never be used again to undo the snap. Thor then opted for the hollow victory of murdering the Mad Titan in retaliation for the victims' deaths, ultimately putting an end to the Infinity War. Thor's hasty killing of Thanos may have left him feeling right at the time, but it cost him dearly in the years that followed. Thor became disoriented for a time due to the shock of the killing, the snap, and the death of his sibling, among other things. The Avengers avenge, but only when absolutely necessary, and this was a dark time for Thor. Black Panther Chase, Captain America, Civil War T'Challa, aka Black Panther, plays a pivotal role in the Civil War's most awe-inspiring events. During the motorway chase, he's outrunning automobiles and following Bucky Barnes. During the massive airport brawl, he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bucky. He also appears in the film's last scene, where he apprehends the true villain. Because he can go up against the Winter Soldier, Black Panther is unquestionably a major force. <laughs> In this action-packed scenario, Black Panther pursues the Winter Soldier while Captain America follows close behind. On foot, Black Panther pursues Bucky Barnes, who is riding a motorcycle. T'Challa isn't swift enough to catch up to Bucky by sprinting, but he outruns Steve Rogers and eventually launches himself from a moving car to knock out Bucky's vehicle. So, he's either at the pinnacle of human ability or even a step further. He fights Bucky punch for punch before Bucky flees, but he still pursues him with Captain America close behind. This scenario will get your heart pumping and make you respect Black Panther as a superhero in a whole new way. Many fans believe that this sequence in particular shows off the abilities of Black Panther in the best possible way, and many of them even go so far as to say that Black Panther was cooler in this film than he was in his own movie. Hulk vs. Thanos In this epic fight, Hulk tries saving everyone by single-handedly taking on Thanos and fighting the Mad Titan. In the very beginning of their altercation, Hulk rushes Thanos and shoulder smashes him like a football player after Loki shouts, 
we have the Hulk. Thanos is caught off surprise. The Hulk then threw a flurry of blows toward Thanos, something he normally uses to his advantage. Thanos, being as technically sound as he is, is immediately one step ahead of Hulk. Thanos is terrifying, but more significantly, as a boxer, he is technically sound. Against the Hulk's brawler style of combat, he does a fantastic job of switching things up technically. The battle between Thanos and the Hulk is the most exaggerated version of such a thing on a massive cosmic scale. The Incredible Hulk is the epitome of a brawler. He enters with brutal power and strength, intending to finish quickly because that's always worked for him. Thanos, on the other hand, is a brilliant strategist. To gain the upper hand, he employs his technique, expertise, and knowledge from past matches. Thanos defeats the Hulk quite easily which is not something that was pleasant for Hulk fans to watch by any means. The takedowns happen swiftly, and Hulk taps out the bout for good. However, this scene makes it into our list because we see two giants clash against us, and a flurry of blows which lead to a nail-biting cinematic experience for the audiences. Thanos is coming. He's coming. The Hulk was, however, severely harmed as a result of his defeat in this fight not just physically, but also mentally. When Bruce Banner tried summoning the other guy, or the green beast that dwells within his body, after this incident, he refused to come out and take over Banner's body, which had lasting consequences. Hulk, we got a lot to figure out, pal. With that, we come to the end of this video. Many of these fan-favorite scenes continue to be re-watched to this day, leading to clips of them continuously rising in terms of views. Do you re-watch your favorite Marvel clips? Which are some of your favorite action sequences in the entirety of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.